IBM has a uh, platform now and a chipset that is so advanced and so capable that it literally offers the, a performance advantage of four to one over anything else that's available in the marketplace today. That platform is as reliable as any platform. It is, more, it is the most reliable platform in the market today, bar none. It has all of the reliability characteristics, all the availability characteristics, serviceability characteristics of, of an industrial strength uh, technology to provide unique benefits to clients who are looking for bulletproof solutions that outperform anything in the marketplace. They cannot be matched by anything that our competition has to offer in the Unix space, in the Intel space, it simply is unparalleled in the marketplace. In storage, IBM acquired a company about 18 months ago called XIV. This is a revolutionary storage platform that offers a unique strategy for storing information in a massively parallel environment. And they do it with low cost technology with serial ATA commodity items. And because of that unique combination, it can deliver world-class performance at a fraction of the cost of our com competitors' app, uh, per competitors' platforms. And nobody else has it in the marketplace. IBM exclusively has that technology. In addition, IBM is aggressively working on technologies that are emerging. The depth of their technical capabilities is astonishing and the future of their technology looks extremely bright. Their roadmap for the power architecture, their roadmap for the Intel architecture, their roadmap for storage technology. A little bit about that, they have announced a preview of a technology called Quicksilver. It is a virtualization platform that uses solid state drives as the primary engine for feeding data. And in that technology preview that they released in September of last year, they achieved a benchmark of a million IOPS and one million IOs per second, a benchmark that had not been reached by any other vendor at any other time. That is a great preview of what we're going to see coming in the storage platforms over the next couple years, and IBM is on the forefront of doing that.